Hi everybody, this is TT Readings and today this reading is going to be for Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This is going to be a reading from November 1st um, till November 10th for you. Okay, so we're going to see what are the messages that pop out for Leo from November 1st till um, November 10th. messages for leo do check out the link in the description box it's going to take you to the extended in the extended we will see how's your person feeling about you outcome advice advice love notes um and self-love notes as well as messages from your person what is the guidance that you need okay in the time to come so all of that extra information is going to be in the extended if you are interested you can check it it's going to be linked below we have the wheel of fortune here okay so things are changing things are changing and i also feel like with this wheel of fortune being here um the seven of swords there might be something that you are walking away from or you're choosing to walk away from um and the reason being is that um this looks like this is a cycle that is coming to an end here you're putting an end to a cycle however this also to me looks like leo you are kind of like walking away but not completely walking away so you might still be wondering what's happening you know you know let me just have a peek um but you know when you're moving in the when you're moving forward and still looking back that kind of an energy that i get here from you leo um again you know i feel like you're gonna be on top of your game there could be things working out for you you know um new changes in your life new place new car new job i don't know or trying to go that way trying to make your life better and i feel like um i am also kind of getting that underlying energy here for you leo that you might have haters okay there might be people around you who who will see you going on top or who will see you um you know rising and they might be envious of you they might be trying to you know play games to ruin things for you right so you have to be careful with your energy okay um to me this looks like um this could be somebody who pretends to be your friend and who's not really your friend okay um again you have to be careful of people around you because i think there is somebody who is um the tower there's somebody who might be trying to ruin things for you or trying to make it seem like they care but they don't okay we have the tower here so that is scorpio energy we have leo taurus uh aries leo as well libra and then we have the tower energy so to me this does look like this is change happening i feel like a lot of you have realized that let me see Ooh, this is love coming your way with the lovers and the tower this is like a sudden uh, love offer that comes your way leo okay this is like a sudden like something very like passionate again i feel like somebody's gonna be making that choice to come forward and communicate with you to be more expressive to me this looks like it's gonna be surprising for you because you know right now you might be focused on your life you're not really focused on this aspect of things you might be putting love aside but it does look like there's love coming in for you and might even shock you right now you might be going through a lot of changes a lot of sudden changes that are happening in your life and people are noticing it there might be somebody around you who's also noticing that with things changing you're also changing okay um as in you are not as giving into the situation like you used to be so they might not be liking it entirely okay so that i feel like somebody's gonna get the urge to come forward and express themselves 
I also feel like um, in the past there were problems um, with um, the relationship coming to a place of like where things are equal with the give, equal give and take. So that might have been a struggle in this relationship. Maybe one person was doing it more than the other. Knight of Wands, Leo. I feel like it's all gonna like catch you off guard when this person arrives. And because I feel like you're not really expecting this, okay? You're not really expecting this Knight of Wands energy to come forward. Um, to me, this looks like there is somebody coming in, okay? There is somebody who is going to be very expressive. And this is looking like something is coming in with a lot of passion, okay? <laughs> Nine of Wands, King of Wands, what is this? There is so much love and passion here in this reading that I'm shocked, okay? I'm shocked. Um, yeah, so... There is somebody coming your, uh, coming towards you. There is somebody who is very like, could be, you know, another Leo maybe. But I feel like Leo, you are standing in your part as well. Okay, not to say that you're not. I feel like there is definitely somebody who finds you very attractive. And I see you being in that position where a lot of people have their eyes on you. And a lot of people might be finding you very desirable. So it does look like there is love coming in your way. Um more so than love this looks like a lot of passionate energy coming your way this also might be somebody that you are trying to get over this also might be somebody that you actually don't want to get back with because you look back and you realize there there were toxic things in this relationship but somebody is very irresistible here whether it be you or them okay five of pentacles again um i do feel like this person is somebody that you don't really trust because they surprise you when they arrive and then they surprise you when they leave as well. But it, it is not that much of a surprise because it, it has happened quite some time now. So, it had, I mean, quite a few times, okay? So you know that this person's a ghoster. Ghoster? Is that a word? I don't know. They ghost you, they appear in your life, they disappear. And you have, I feel like this is also a cycle that you're trying to put to an end. Um, but again, I feel like you catch yourself dealing with this person again and again. I don't know. What is it? Their charm. They're, I don't know. They're very charismatic. Um, and so are you, by the way, because this person is, it's like they're thinking a lot about you. They're fantasizing about you and they're, they're really wishing to come forward. There is a lot of passionate energy coming in towards you. But I feel like, Leo, you might be, I mean, your attitude looks like you know, what's done is done. Let me go forward and explore what is out there for me in the world, you know, whether it be love-wise or other things in your life. So to me, this does look like, oh, look at that eight of cups. So somebody here did walk away from another person. Somebody here is still walking away because of the lack of emotional fulfillment or, you know, because they were ghosted. This is the reason why you decided to end this in the first place or try to get over the situation in the first place because maybe you loved this person but there was not enough emotional fulfillment or enough understanding here um it does look like somebody has a hard time staying you know we'll see there you are there you are i'm loving this energy by the way i am loving this energy leo because it looks like you're going through so many ups and downs because you're going to be ha you're going to be having your lows your highs then you're going to feel yourself then you're going to get back on track then you're going to be you know in your par very much with that king of wands energy very desirable energy um you might have other options as well you know you might be surprised when you see a lot of people reaching out to you from the past to me, this looks like you're finding your inner strength. You're finding your inner balance. To you, it is all about finding that balance within yourself because maybe you, you've been the one who was very, you know, overly giving. King of Swords. Ooh, are you being like cold? Because I do see you cutting somebody out of your life. I see you eliminating somebody from your life. I see you being very logical with your decision making, you know, very strategic thinking. There also might be something that you are planning for your future, Leo. And to me, this looks like you're going to be cutting somebody out of your life or 
I mean, not for the whole, I don't know, for, for your whole life or for the time being. But it does look like that is on your mind. You know, you feel like, you know, I need to find myself again. I need to find uh, my balance again. Yeah, Four of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. So slowly but surely, I feel like you're walking away. You are grounding yourself, definitely working towards your stability with the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, you might be very focused on your work as well. We do have the Four of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So it's not like you don't love this person, Leo. You have a lot of love for this person, but you're putting love aside. You're putting love aside for now. You might be just, you know, um, you're taking a break from things right now to focus on what really matters. It's like a healing and transformational period here that I see for you. Okay, because your focus might be a lot on your money or finding those new opportunities to grow, to expand. And again, you know, that this is that energy where, you know, you're looking for new opportunities in your life to be happy to find your strength and balance again you know maybe you're you're coming from a period where is you, you went through separation or whatever the case might be and now you're trying to find your um balance again okay tell me more about the energies coming up for leo we have the six of pentacles the King of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Look at that. Your focus is a lot on your work, Six of Swords. Um, I do feel like work will be rewarded. However, I feel like there is love coming in for you as well. We have three kings here. So again, you know, I do see somebody coming in towards you. But right now, your focus seems to be more so on your work. You might be so focused on your work that you don't even want to deal with other things, right? So again, with that Six of Pentacles energy, Leo, that is the energy where I do see somebody coming in towards you with some sort of an offer as well. Um, but I feel like you're going to take a lot of time to respond to this offer, okay? Whether it be coming from one person or multiple, but it does look like you're going to be taking your time because you're making important life choices. And to me, this looks like one day you might feel like you're, you're on top of your game. The next day you might feel a little bit heavy in the energy again. So just go with the flow of things and again, expect the unexpected here because there is somebody coming in towards you with so much passion that you might even be shocked that, hey, you know, is this the same person who ghosted me? <laughs> that kind of an energy. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Leo, the rest we will clarify in your extended, so do check it out. It is going to be linked below for you guys. In the extended, we will see how is this person, uh, the one who's coming towards you? How are they thinking about you, feeling about you? Their next moves towards you? Where, where is this relationship going? Outcome advice, uh, love notes for you, as well as where are the coming up energies in your life in general? And yeah, I'm also going to be picking out messages from your person. So... Do check that reading out if you're interested. And self-love notes. Oh, we have a lot in there. Do check it out. It is going to be linked below. So let's see what the Romance Angel Oracles have to say for Leo. What do we have for Leo? We have Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I definitely feel like, Leo, there is somebody who wants to come forward and express their love. There is somebody who wants to talk to you, who wants to, and again, exp be more expressive. Somebody's going to be more expressive for giving and learning as you release and heal the past to experience more love in the present moments. You're definitely on your way out, though. It does look like you're, I see you going through a lot of like contemplation and things like, you know, you're really contemplating and trying to figure out things for yourself. Like, what can I do to better my life right now? Which is really good energy, which is really good. You, you know, you're looking for um, potential of growth and you're believing in yourself, which is good. Your person wants to express themselves though, okay? So that's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for Leo. I hope you were open to receive them and I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. 
check out the link in the description box. It is going to take you to the extended. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, the signs that are here are Scorpio, Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Libra, Leo again, Virgo, Taurus. Okay, we have a lot of signs. So that's it. Take care and bye-bye.